Good morning, folks. We're starting today with one story out of the ESO and another from the ESA. First, the ESO, the European Southern Observatory, has added a new device to their very large telescope array. We're now able to watch in many wavelengths like never before. It's called Muse. Next, we go to the ESA, Europe's version of NASA, and they're letting residents of the Eurozone do the naming for their latest project. It is only open to those living in European states. Coming to a global precipitation animation, but you will notice the analysis is cut off to include only lower and mid latitudes. This is from the tropical mission. We watched the global mission lift off last week and NASA's release here is a bit of a, oh you just can't wait for the GPM version of this, right? That would be correct. The tropical mission is a key part of the news and I can't wait to add the update to the rotation. That boy north of Puerto Rico rumbled most of the day, but has quieted now. Meanwhile, the deviations have returned to the Indian Ocean, west of Sumatra. It was a rough day along the convergence line cresting the South Island and southeastern Australia. We've eyed those southern lows extending their convergences up north back across the land. Finally brought some severe conditions. On the wind map, it's surprisingly easy to see that convergence. And indeed, the water vapor extends up to the continuing rain in the north. Top thing to notice here? Straight line of storms with Spainy Portugal and perhaps up to France a bit in the clear for a moment. The North Atlantic low system still stuck and a Mediterranean low is holding back anything else from coming directly east from the sea. Again, that's the strongest storm on the northern hemisphere of Earth up there, confirmed on our wind power overlay. The cold lingers for much of the eastern states, but it has been worse this winter for sure. Can you spot the lows? They suck in counterclockwise in the north should be able to notice them now. Top ones will result in major snowfall in the northeast, north central states, and up into Canada, while the southern low brings back the severe weather threat down south. We had a number of five pointers on the western Pacific to follow Vanuatu 6.3 yesterday morning. Also had a few more rumbles in the US, center of the country out dueling the Cali coastline for another day. This makes four gamma bursts in only five days. This last one came out of Pegasus. Solar wind is continuing to be calm. If anything, speed is a touch high. It's not enough for geomagnetic instability, however, an Earth's protective shield is doing just fine right now. We often watch umbral and coronal fields dance like crazy, but this slight opening for the current coronal holes has remained slender and of minor power only near the equator despite the tremendous polar force at higher latitude. Solar flaring tossed his hat in the solar calm contest arena. Proton flux continues waning at the poles. Looking first at the bigger departing spots down south, we have a lot of decay and the delta spot is now gone. Incoming spots do not have the complexity required for major flaring either. In all honesty, I can't believe the plasma filaments are still there though. The eruption threat presented there is superior to any active region facing Earth and is primary today. CME watch in effect. Current conditions and shots of our star to close. Eyes open. No fear at 6.20 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.